Second Annual World Entrepreneurship Day Joint Initiative the World Entrepreneurial Day, WED, and the United Nations ECOSOC Chamber. Some of the people here today were Maria Bartiromo, Colson Bell, Mark Echo, Beth Comstock, Blaze Zerega, Esther Dyson, Peter Thumb, Founder of Ethos Water, Wendy Diamond, Pet Officer, Howard Morgan, First Round Capital, Idea Lab, Leonard Brody, best-selling author, and Jolie Joshi, Director of Product Management Google, and Pablo Solomon, Intellectual Ventures Capital Lab.
give a hell about our kids and, and the future. You know, I, I think if you want the example of what not to do, spend some time in law schools in, in this country. I mean, I, I, after the first, I would say, two weeks of law school, my entire will to live in sucked dry um, because it had absolutely nothing to do with anything of being a lawyer. And it had nothing to do with the interests about why people showed up. But more importantly, I think, it encouraged something that I think is, and this may be a simplification of the answer, but I think that the one key metric that schools don't spend enough time paying attention to is failure. And, and I think that we need to understand in North America and encourage and work on the science of failure. Because the vast majority of the messages that kids get is the exact opposite about fitting in, about conforming, about being part of the community. And what the biggest barrier in a lot of the research we did about why people don't step out and do the things that they want to do or follow their narrative is because they are afraid of failure. And I think the better you get at an early age in understanding the importance of failure, the science of failure, and the pathway that it really becomes, if, if that gets ingrained into the education system, I think you'll see a much, regardless of what the system ends up being, you'll see a much better product of quality, not only entrepreneur, but of human being. Excellent thoughts. Tom? Yeah. Um, I think, uh, given that it's entrepreneurship, um, what I've noticed in all the schools that I've traveled with, traveled to, is there are a lot of students that are doing really well at the very advanced that they have nothing to do. They finish their homework in 30 seconds, they don't need to pay attention because they're smarter than most of the kids in the class. And there's this other old group that's so far behind, <clears throat> one teacher can't possibly help all of them. So I think through innovation, maybe a peer peer mechanism, turn those smart kids into entrepreneurs and turn them on helping the other kids. I don't have the solutions, I just thought of it because you asked the question. But uh, I think that there's a way there to take this idea of entrepreneurship and technology and use uh, this peer-to-peer -peer of having your own peer that you listen to more of these ages, by the way, than your parents, your teachers, and having these peers become entrepreneurs and, and do more because when you're smart and you sit in a class, you stare out the window. There's nothing left for you to do to rebel against. So if we can harness that power, I think that would be a great way to wrap up an innovative entrepreneurship in. Well, I'd like to thank all of our panelists. I, I hope that you and the audience found this interesting and perhaps thought-provoking. Um, thank you very, very much, everybody. And we appreciate the opportunity to be here and have this discussion.